I feel like I should be meditating. Same old soup, just reheated. So then- oh, wait, what if vampires can't actually compel? They're just really good at debate. <laughs> okay, whatever. Selena. We have a visitor this morning. Hello, Chewie. As per usual, y'all are getting the glorious windowsill shot. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful colors all around. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sal. I make one of I make videos whenever I feel like it, and um, I feel like it because I need the comfort since school is starting. Term two has begun. For those who don't know, I'm in grad school. I'm doing a master's in arts and society, and um, things are picking up. Things are picking up. I've been already brainstorming stuff for my master's thesis, which is kind of mind-boggling because I feel like I just finished writing my bachelor's thesis. Um, for context, bachelor's here lasts for three years usually, and the master's that I take is only one year. So, as you can see, I'm taking the fast track out of these institutions and uh, it's a headache and a half, but we'll discuss all of that later. And uh, for now, we're just gonna enjoy this morning while Chewie runs around my room and I figure out how to tame this mullet. Okay. <laughs> We've been quite an intense experience finding them and uh, at the end of this year, have to work on for the sense of where everybody is. Um, and then lastly, I'll spend a bit of each other out in that sense. And of course, I'm there. Then uh, a lot of the work is really. Uh... All right, beautiful darlings of the internet. Look at what I did, huh? Can you believe she's an arts and society student when that's what her cars look like? Horrendous. This is my master's thesis proposal mind map. It's a dinner party, except I went full um, bridezilla and uh, <laughs> did a white wedding seating plan instead. I divided by a case study, which is Marlina Si Pembruda Empat Naba. It is an Indonesian film. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I blacked out. Uh, highly recommend it. Trigger warnings. Sexual harassment, patriarchy. Those are the topics that will be discussed in my thesis and are depicted in the film. Secondly, we go down. We got theoretical, theoretical framework, if I can speak. Uh, we got representation in art specifically feminist representation, film theory, specifically feminist film, and uh, Javanese patriarchy, because that's what we're looking at. We're looking at feminist affect theory, representing trauma or healing the trauma in art. We're looking at the male gaze. We're looking at feminist counter cinema, silencing, and also the erasure of sexual harassment in Indonesia, because Girl, I do love my country, but we do not do well with taking care of our women, femme presenting people, trans people, queer people in general, also men. Any kind of sexual harassment cases, we're just not good at dealing with that, tackling why it happens, making sure that our people are safe. And I really wanna, wanna drive that point home. Not punch anyone. Also, this is the notebook that I use for my master's thesis. Isn't it cute? I've officially, I've officially dedicated it to my master's thesis. And um, she's adorable. She's got really cute pages and I can't wait to fill her up because <laughs> dear God, do I need some help. Cool. Who dat? Who dat? Come here. Oh, he wants a belly rub right away. Come here. Oh, hello. Hey, you wanna leave? <laughs> Me too. I'll come with you. Yeah, yeah, I'll come with you. He looked back at it. <laughs> I made this just last night. And my dad already, that's definitely my dad, dug a hole on the crust. Look at that. Let's cut ourselves a piece. Okay, so let's do a check-in, shall we? How is everybody doing? Um, I've had a week break, and it was lovely. I hung out with my friends a lot. 
I finally had my official bachelor's graduation. Thank you, thank you. It was bizarre, emotional, and heartfelt, which I feel like are the three adjectives um, for the whole of 2020. Biden is now president of the United States. Um, so, you know, things are different but the same. You know, same old soup, just reheated. So, that's how life is going. Um, I feel like I had some sort of emotional and spiritual retreat last week. I, re I deleted Instagram for a bit. During breaks, I often get a little nervous because I'm not doing anything. Mm, and I usually, I was gonna take, I was, <laughs> I was gonna do a readathon where I read five books in five days. You see, that's the kind of behavior um, cycle, behavioral cycle that I fall into. It's a bad trap. Trap? It's a bad trap to think that you have to be productive all the time. Um, and I graduated, so I needed to be around my friends, I needed to celebrate, I needed to be around my family. And that really forced me to slow down and realize that you can't control anything. Anything. So I bother. You know, I love my projects, I love reading, I love making YouTube videos, but the fact that I could not even comprehend in my brain to just take a week break and just solely focus on what I want to do and not feeling guilty about doing it is a huge step in my mental health. And um, I'm happy that I did it and I got through it unscathed, a little shaken, but unscathed. But to be honest, I feel great. I feel like I really took my break that I needed and I feel so much better because of it. If there's any nugget of wisdom I can share with you in this video, if there's anything that's gonna be meaningful is to um, try to give yourself a break even just a few hours or half a day without feeling guilty about it and just do everything you wanna do, just you. Or go outside and spend some time with yourself and uh, try not to look at your phone. I don't know, delete the apps that you know you spend a lot of time on. Just spend a day without opening them at all. I sound like a boomer, but you know what? It, it really did help for me, so I'm just trying to share, you know? Yeah, but... What, what was I doing? Oh my god. My attention span! Oh, she's soft. Oh, I like her. I can take off my belt. <laughs> yep, yeah, she's she's still hanging. Look at that. I feel like myself. This is real. This is me. If it looks like I'm not done yet, it's probably because I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm not gonna open the door. Ah! Chewy. He said I'm gonna be like, and what are you gonna do about it? You are a sass monster. I know. Oh, you need to pee. The pee was a success. The pee was a success. We're still learning how to communicate with each other. Well, he knows exactly how to communicate with me. I'm learning how to understand him. Good boy, thank you for telling me. Good boy, Chewy. <laughs> now he's sleepy. <laughs> My Virgo moon is screaming, but y'all are getting a makeover video, I guess, because I'd rather do this than do my readings. We're gonna do a sleeve to color. What? Short sleeve to long sleeve, light to dark color. Um, that's how I organize my closet, and that's how I organize how we're gonna organize Kaden's. Firstly, we're gonna take all of the heavy jackets off of this because it's just weighting this thing down and um, unnecessary. Oh shoot! He has this. 
I'm going to just start borrowing Kaden's clothes. <laughs> He's got a lot of belts, right? You take something like this. Ta-da! Now they're not everywhere. Otherwise, we can also do this, which maybe is more productive. Yeah, let's just do that. See one of those, huh? Look at that working. Is this a belt? I don't know, not my problem. There you go, look at that, all the accessories on one thing, huh? Problem solver. And then we're gonna go into the shirts. Short sleeve first. We do light to dark. Organization, baby. My brain juices are flowing. Maybe I should go on that show where the like a bunch of ladies just go to people's houses and clean them. Um, except they're white, so it's like gentrified and cool and fashionable. And not, you know, disproportionately lower class people of color cleaning houses and organizing their stuff. Anyways, ooh, that's a good essay topic. That's a good essay topic. All right, cool. I don't even know if you can see my social anxiety. I have. Can you even see me over there? <laughs> Look at that sky. She's gorgeous. I thought it'd be cool to have a walk just because I always want to do this and I never do. I am mostly pretty healthy. I think I've gotten to a point where I'm really, I think I'm the best that I've ever been mentally, but I have anxiety that flares up sometimes. I don't like to say that I have bad anxiety because she's just there and she's always been there or at least for as long as I've remembered. And sometimes she makes me a little scared to go outside. I can't look people in the eye. I don't like to take out my camera in public. That's why I used to vlog with my phone for a bit because it was just too scary to commit to the fact that I was walking around with a camera. I project all these judgments onto people um, that they probably don't even like have and I would not actually be bothered if someone actually came up to me and started insulting me for doing the things that I do. It's just this, I'm just bothered because I do it. And that's the problem. Um, but I'm trying to slowly learn how to live with it. And I'm not super far away from my house, but the fact that I'm even outside and talking and sitting down where I feel like I'm not supposed to be sitting down even though it's public area. Um, I feel good and I'm just really happy to be alive and to be so blessed that I get to experience this at a time where everything is really scary globally, universally. And the sun has been out like, ugh, I don't know, I just feel really good. It's so funny because lately I've been having this like looming thought that I'm not funny enough to be on YouTube, that I don't show personality enough, that I'm not hyper enough. And it's like, I mean, yeah, I got a sense of humor sometimes and I think I can make my sister laugh and that's, <laughs> that's good enough for me. But like, you know, my soul is at a place where I just want to heal and I want to learn and I want to do new things and I want to, you know, step into spaces that I've never stepped into before, including sitting outside and talking to a camera. So here I am doing that and I'm very proud of myself.
call out to your brother, he's calling out your name. Okay, here she is, the final product. Bags, long sleeves, t-shirts, sports shirts, sports shorts, normal shorts, undies, dress pants, a short sleeve, long sleeve, some bags, accessories, hats. Now we got here, yep, look at that. She organized, and then I hung some of his extra jackets here instead since it didn't fit here. But we got pants, extra clothes, more undies, some nice, Marie kondo shirts and sweaters and all this thicker stuff like hoodies and sweatpants Make sure they all fit Yep, that was all today. The rest I have not conquered yet, but I will make the kids bed Ta-da! Ta-da! Not bad, not bad Bright sunny days are no longer. <laughs> okay. Oh, kissy kiss. Good morning. Yesterday was a rest day. I filmed a video and then I drank Red Bull for the video and I crashed hard. <laughs> so I was like, there's no way I'm gonna vlog. But today's a new day. I still feel a little, uh, I'm not made for caffeine. I don't drink a lot of coffee and I don't do a lot of sugar either. Like I can feel it in my body when I have too much sugar. So today is crash day. But Chewie and I are gonna take a walk, are we buddy? Yeah. Okay. This is my current favorite candle. It's Holiday Spice by DW Home. I don't know what DW Home is, but it has cinnamon spice, crushed clove, and sweet toasted nutmeg with warm amber and cashmere musk. I'm allergic to cinnamon when I ingest it, but inhaling it is a great time. What's up, you little troublemaker? Whoa. <laughs> He's annoyed. Which I was, uh, I've been following for, for, for a long period of time already. This is a picture that I took there. In, uh... Hi. Hey. Guess who just woke up from a four hour nap? Can you tell? Oh, wow, you can definitely tell. <laughs> On Saturday night. Oh, what are you doing? <coughs> Vlogging, you want to say hi? I mean... What the hell? <laughs> what are the Anyways, with all due respect, staying conscious just isn't my vibe anymore, you know? <laughs> I am limited to one class a day, and then a four-hour nap, and then... Just a little bit of editing on the laptop or a little bit of reading in the morning. I can't handle any other information. My brain is too delicate and my body is just, I'm tired. I'm tired. We had a week break before this, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, and it has done nothing. Um, apparently bandwidth doesn't work like that where you can just take an 
a week break off and then suddenly become superhuman. Your body's still the same, my dude. You just recovered. <laughs> so you did not super recharge for the next week. I think I'm gonna have some water or some tea because I'm parched. And yeah, I guess let's go live a life. I'm so not a night person. I feel so displaced here. <laughs> I'll only feel normal again by the time it's 3 a.m. But I have class at 9 tomorrow, so I can't stay up till that late to make myself feel less dissociated. Cool, let's go. Oh, it's so boring. I don't care. I have about 20 minutes until my class and I haven't exercised in a while and my thighs are just not, no blood is flowing through it. I think I slept wrong. So I'm gonna do some yoga before class starts. climbed up two flights of stairs and I can't breathe anymore. Athleticism who? Don't know her. Also I'm eating candy. Healthy. Oh my god my spine is dead. <laughs> I have been in front of the computer since 8 till 3 which if you're in high school or middle school or younger you're probably like girl that is nothing compared to what I have to do trust me I hear you but I've gotten used to like being done by 12 and then having the rest of the day to like let it marinate in my brain because doing a master's is different from doing a bachelor's in the sense that you're sort of responsible for this like little research baby you kind of wake up one day and suddenly you're in it you know what I mean I mean, obviously, you know that a master's is like higher up than a bachelor's. It's the next step, whatever. But so far, without sort of like warning, they've kind of like put us in the deep end of, well, now it's time to write a thesis proposal. You know, tell me what kind of stuff you're interested in and what's your project and how can this course contribute to your little research baby? So suddenly in this block, in this new block, I suddenly had to put on like my big girl pants and been like, um, this is my research. And thankfully I have a research topic because I can't imagine how diminishing it feels if you don't already have one and everybody else does. Or at least maybe I'm projecting because I get worried when I don't feel like I'm up to par with everybody else in class. I'm really worried about getting left behind and that's an issue that I gotta work on. But you know what? <sighs> At least I'm not having to deal with that right now. What am I talking about? Today I had two of my electives back to back and I haven't had that in a while. And my spine is suffering. I am really conscious about my spine health because I have scoliosis, which I feel like I talk about in every single video. Um, and I've done a lot of like bodily conscious sports like I've done yoga I've done a lot of dancing so I'm very aware that I'm always hunched over the laptop and I'm like caving in on my chest and it's not great you know I need to expand Channing Tatum be like <laughs> I gotta go man anyways I kind of just want to keep doing homework even though it's a Friday but there's so much stuff to do and I'm also thinking like what am I gonna make for my YouTube video next week even though I'm recording a YouTube video as we speak there's like my brain doesn't stop moving I'm exhausted <laughs> all right let's go welcome to my beloved street this is the little shortcut that I take everything smells like poo after the rain I think it was raining last night I have no clue I pretty much fell Zed asleep. 
but we're gonna make the trek to that place that we went to last time. Maybe that's my new happy place, I don't know. Maybe it's just the place where I feel less socially awkward. It's not the same thing. Oh God. You guys, look at all those chickens. It's actually not that cold at all. Like at all. This is really doable. And I find it so funny reflecting back on how I like to psych myself out of doing the things that I want. I'm like, no, it's too cold. It's the part of my brain that's trying to help me be safe, but it's like, God, I project so many fears onto doing new things. And I am noticing how I do that more and more, or I'm, I'm noticing it more and more. I'm not doing that more and more. Um, but yeah. Sometimes it's nice to just like shut myself up and be like, girl, if you want to do it, just do it. What's all this complaining for? Like, why are you scaring yourself? Be nice to yourself. Look at that. Oh my God. How awesome is that? Is it because of me? Are they scared of my vlogging? No, come back. I love you. They're not vibing with me, but yeah. I'm at a place in my life where I'd like to do a lot of cool new things and I, I'd like to stop being scared of everything now and I'd like to explore and get to know places deeper, you know? I'm very comfortable with staying on the surface, I've moved around a lot and uh, I want to scare myself a bit more now, do things that I don't usually do, get further than I used to go, you know? Anyways, I found an opening. How, <laughs> how biblical is that? Is we found an opening. I've walked quite a long, a long ways from there. I'm not sure if this is private property, but it's open for now. So we're gonna walk through this one. Hopefully we can get to the water and look at how many ducks. I do not wish to disturb them because I do not wish for them to disturb me, but we're gonna make our way downtown, baby. Who would have thought? Don't tell me the sky is blue Doesn't matter the amount of times you say it won't make it true Don't you know that I pity you You with all your little bells and whistles singing two different Okay, good morning. I've been doing moon rituals and just like my weekend ritual anyway, cleaning up my space energetically and physically. But I just wanted to share because I'm going to journal. Uh, but Shuri fell asleep next to me this morning. And this is my shadow work journal. And he completely distorted it. And it's so funny because my first reaction was like <laughs> utter despair and anger, which is my shadow self, ironically. And I've been getting so many tarot readings telling me that there's, it's like my old chapter is closing and I've been doing so much work and something new is going to come along. And whatever old part I was working on, that's sort of passing me by now. And it's so funny because the last entry that I put in was a reading on all these things that I have to do for the super new moon in Scorpio. 
and all of this was kind of just like renewing the energy and figuring out a new vision that I want for myself. I don't know if my dog is my familiar, but he's given me a lot of different things from the universe that are crazy synchronized, so I guess I have to say goodbye to it. I still have a lot of pages left. I'll probably use it to doodle or write lyrics or something, but it's kind of, kind of wild that all of this is happening at once. To lose you, you saw your light and candle by the window, wondering what is the use of letting it go through. The amount of time it takes to reach the burn off of you to learn it's true. The world is telling you that no matter what it is you do, you know. That no matter what it is you choose to do, you're always gonna lose. <laughs> I, I'm like, who is that whispering? Sometimes I'm like, is dad whispering outside my door? He never whispers. But no, it's Stefan. Yeah. I just got to the episode where he killed Enzo. Right in front of Bonnie. I don't know. Enzo is the British dude. Oh, you, you weren't there that far, but okay, he's a British How dude. This cast okay, so he's a British dude that was like in prison with Damon like long time ago, and then in season seven and eight, he's dating Why Bonnie. Is Damon in prison, he can just like persuade. What is it called? Compel. Yeah. No, no, no. So then, oh, wait, what if vampires can't actually compel? They're just really good at debate. <laughs> okay, whatever. Selena. There's a person coming. <laughs> Are you breathless? How do you think people get over there to like do the graffiti? How? They swim. Do you think so? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, hey! Yeah, so cool, sir. What? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. I, do I need the full body? Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh! MashaAllah. I did a backflip. MashaAllah, Bhagwan. It was so quick. Bismillah. Oh my god. I'm gonna be like, you guys are Islamophobic. Little do you know. We are. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> People are gonna laugh. Like, yeah. like, oh, she's problematic. All the white people are like, oh no, she's racist. All of our neighborhood friends are like, <laughs> what the hell? The devil just possessed me. The devil just stopped. The devil just possessed me. 